Hey, uh, today I just wanted to share with you a file recovery program that I've been using um, for a while now. I downloaded it several months back after I had um, made the mistake of not saving some very important files that I needed before reformatting my hard drive. And it took quite a long time for me to find a program that would actually recover those files. Um, and along with that I had several USB drives that had um, for some reason or another just one day uh, showed up that there was nothing on them and I was also able to use this software to recover those so if you're looking for a, a full-blown file recovery program um, this is it it'll it'll recover files from hard drives um, whether they've been deleted reformatted um, USB uh, flash drives um, they're pretty well known to once in a while just kind of crash and you plug them in one day and it's just blank and there's nothing there. This will also recover files from those along with other uh, portable devices that you have hooked up to your computer. Anything that has um, a memory device, memory card, hard drive, uh, this Data Recovery Pro software will scan it and find files on it as long as you haven't already um, reinstalled software or files on top and overwritten those files. So if you've lost files it's really important to try to recover them as soon as possible before you do uh, download or install new files onto that device which could possibly overwrite that file for good um, and then you would um, be in a lot of trouble of getting those files back. So I just want to go over the software with you and show you a little bit about what it does. You can go to uh, www.savemyfiles.net to download this if you would like and kind of walk through it with me. You can download it for free. It will scan any kind of drive that you have, but if you find files that you would like to recover, you do have to buy the software to recover the files. I've um, when I first saw the software, of course, like you know, most people and probably you yourself, I definitely didn't want to pay for it. So I went out and spent several weeks trying to find some kind of free software or a free file recovery program that would recover the files, and I couldn't find anything to do it. Um, some of the things that I did find were just very complicated to use, and the software is extremely easy to use. Um, in fact, it has a guide like a little wizard on it that kind of guides you through the process if you don't uh, feel comfortable just jumping right into it. So, um, first on the scan tab you're going to see where you can do a, a quick scan. Uh, this quickly scans your computer and devices for files easily recovered. And if you select that you can also uh, search for specific file names or text within a file. So if there's a particular file that you're looking for that you've lost, deleted, um, that's been copied over or whatever you can um, type it in here and click start scan and hopefully it'll find it for you. Next is full scan and this will scan your hard drive and any other kind of media that has any kind of uh, a drive to it that's attached to your computer and you can also search for specific files just by typing them in here or you can do the guided scan if you feel more comfortable and not only can you recover files but also emails with the software also so if you select this um, to start scan and here we have a couple options recover items from a reformatted drive recover items from an existing partition you can select which one um, if you want to recover lost emails if you want to recover items from an external device it says here, use this option to recover files from devices connected to your computer, such as iPods and digital cameras. So um, if you have photos that maybe you lost on a digital camera, this would be a great tool to get those recovered as well. You just check box, or check that box, and, or I guess be circle. And then you would select which drive it is. And if you're searching for a specific file, you can enter it there. If not, you don't have to, and then just start scan. Now if we jump over here to advanced, um, I was really impressed with this because it does it, 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 re it really scans deep to find files. In fact, uh, it'll scan your recycle bin, it'll scan for files without names, files that have been 
uh, that maybe are on a corrupt hard drive sector and ones that have are on uh, reformatted partitions. And down here you simply select which one of these you want to scan and the C is my main drive so we'll just leave that and uh, just click start scan and it'll it'll start scanning for all those files and we'll do that here in just a second email really easy to search for emails if you use like um, Outlook Express or any of those that you have installed on your computer uh, you can scan here uh, to recover those lost emails so if we go back to advanced uh, we have our C check I'm gonna just leave all these checked just for the fun of it uh, we're not going to enter anything here and click start scan and you can see over here how fast it goes up and finds files it's uh, it's, it's really impressive how well this data recovery software works and so far we're up to a thousand and you know it's, it's just getting started so it's not going to be done until this green bar goes all the way to the end and if you notice here it can recover everything from images to documents audio and video files HTML files compressed presentations it can even recover uh, complete folders too now like I was talking about earlier there may be files that you'll find in here once it's complete and you might say oh there's my file and you click on it and you may find that the file doesn't open or something's wrong with it and that could very well be because um, you had waited too long to recover the file and therefore already installed um, other things on your computer and that file had been overwritten from uh, what you just installed on the computer so as I mentioned earlier if you do need to recover files it's very important to recover them as soon as possible that way you know that there's a lot better chance of recovering them and I was able to recover I don't know I'd say about 95 percent of the things that I needed from my hard drive that I had lost um, the other ones they were corrupted and it was most likely because of things that I had installed on my computer afterwards that had overwritten those files so um, it was something that I made a mistake on that I hope you won't if you have very important files that do need to be recovered so you can see we're already up to about 6,000 files that's been found and we're not even close to being halfway done so it's going to find uh, quite a few on here now if you'd like to download this software like I said um, you can download it for free from www.savemyfiles.net and after you download it you can scan any drive that you have on your computer or attached to it but uh, once you find the files that you had lost to recover them you do have to purchase the software in my opinion from other software that I had purchased and didn't work and the time that I wasted in trying to find free software um, it was it was very well worth it to buy this software because like I said I also used it to recover files from my USB drives and um, with my digital camera I'm sure I'll have um, a time sooner or later when that memory card will just kinda go blank on me and and I'll have software here to recover those files as well and won't need to call in or hire some professional to do it and pay them um, a lot more money than what I did for this software so so there you have it and uh, I wish you the best of luck in recovering your files